Whether you're new to learning motion design or you're already an established pro, my goal is to bring fresh ideas that are simple to execute for all your After Effects projects. So I'm going to break down several project enhancing motion graphics that you can easily use. So if you're ready, let's level up now. Now with After Effects loaded up, we will hit on all these cool motion graphics. But first, let's start small and simple by creating this rotating circle with animated dots in the middle. All you need to do is select the ellipse tool and create a perfect circle by holding shift on your keyboard. Then we'll do the same thing again, but create a much larger circle. For the larger circle, turn off the fill and turn the stroke to on. Perfect. We can now see both graphics. Open the outline circle and add trim paths. From here, keyframe animate the end from 0% to 90%. Then alt click the stopwatch for offset and type time asterisk 120. This will give you a rotating wannabe full circle. For the small circle, we can add a repeater and animate the copies from 1 to 3. And then we'll all click the stopwatch for the number of copies and add the loop out ping pong expression just like this. Feel free to center the three circles here, but now you have a unique motion graphic that you can add into your full projects. Now that we have the basic elements out of the way, we can now use these simple techniques to easily create other objects. For example, let's take that big circle and scale it way down. Now it's a lonely circle graphic, but let's give it a friend by duplicating it. And you know what? Because you have two, you might as well have three. And just evenly lay out these circles together. Then create a null object and parent all your layers to the null object. Then grab the pan behind tool and center the null object's anchor point in the center of your circles. So now when we type the expression time asterisk 100 to the null's rotation, we get this infinite rotating graphic. And now you have another graphic to place into your work in under a minute. Now let's power up with a windmill or a targeting graphic. Let's just call it a windmill target. You can create a straight line with the pen tool and be sure to use stroke and not the fill. Just add trim paths and we'll animate the start and end from 50% back to 0% for the start and 100% for the end. Now you can duplicate the line and rotate it in a whopping 90 degrees. Just like the temperature here in Florida during the winter. Then create an outline box with the rectangle tool. And if you want, you can animate the opacity back and forth to create a flicker to highlight that this is a target based graphic. Lastly, create a null object and parent everything to it and apply the time expression to the rotation of the null. So time asterisk 20 should be fine. And now you can add another graphic into your edits. All right, we have two more graphics that we'll create to level up our work, but you can easily level up your After Effects projects in an instant with our 25,000 plus templates inside of our Motion Duck extension. You can add titles and graphics like you've seen in this tutorial into any of your active projects. Then you can change the text, colors, and boom, successful projects with a few clicks. And be sure to get our free template pack with the link below as well. All right, back in this thing, we're gonna create this rectangle array of lines. So directly in the center of your composition with the pen tool, create a straight line like this and go into the shape layer to add a repeater. Be sure to increase the copies and set the X position to zero. Then increase the rotation until you have this circle array. We'll add the time asterisk 20 expression to the transform shape one rotation. So now you'll have this animation. However, I want this graphic to be bounded by a rectangle. So I can select the rectangle tool and with the shape layer selected, select tool creates mask. So when we create a rectangle, this will create a mask instead of a shape. Once you have a small mask in the center, create a larger mask around the edges. Make sure the smaller mask is at the bottom and set it to subtract. And there you have it, a custom array of lines. And next, I'll show you how to create this 3D cube, which is actually fast and easy to create. And if you're still watching this video, pat yourself on the back because you're doing awesome. To finish this video, all we're going to do is create a black rectangle with a white stroke. Be sure to control double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point. Make sure the shape layer is a 3D layer. When your rectangle is ready, go into the rectangle path and change the size to 150 by 150. We want to use exact math here because when we go into the transform value of our shape layer, we want to set the Z anchor point to 75 and the Z position to 75 or simply half the amount of the size of your rectangle. So now when we duplicate the rectangle and set the X rotation to 90 degrees, this will perfectly slide into place. So duplicate again and set the rotation to 180 degrees. Do another duplicate and set it to 270. For the sides of the cube, duplicate the original layer twice and set the Y rotation to 90 degrees and the other layer to 270 degrees. And now we have a perfect cube. So now we can create a null object, make it a 3D layer, 
and set its Z anchor point to 75. Now parent all the layers to that null object and add the time expression to any of the null's rotation values. By doing this, you will have a rotating cube in no time. I hope this tutorial has leveled up your arsenal of tricks and always be creating.